Welcome to all of you, my dear students. Uh, I am Jia Rahman, Sector 14, uh, Maristone School and College. Uh, I hope you are you are fine also. Uh, I am also fine. So today I will take your pro, uh, class, math class, which one is uh, proportion, profit, and loss. Exercise 2.1. If you are open your math book, that one is very easy, I think, because already you have learned the proportion, some definition. That means some uh, statement already you have learned. So today, the previous lesson, I will uh, write only this proportion. So now write the proportion. Actually, already you have learned this one. Just I will proportion. Uh, what is proportion? So proportion is a statement. Proportion is a statement proportion is a statement that two ratios two ratios are equal two ratios are equal so which statement actually which one is equal so already you have done this one you know that one is the statement is the first quantity first quantity is to second quantity second quantity equal to third quantity third quantity is to fourth quantity okay so this one already have learned but okay, uh, by this statement, we will solve some maths 3 and 4 number. So, but uh, we can write the another way this statement, okay? So, which way we can write? Now, this first quantity, first quantity, uh, this in ratio, we can write in division, second quantity, equal to third quantity, Third quantity already have learned, right, my dear students? By fourth quantity, okay. We can write like this way also. This statement we can write like this way. This statement we can write the another way, okay. Which one? So we if you multiply the cross multiplication, so first quantity into fourth quantity equal to second quantity into third quantity. So now write again the another way you can write the first quantity first quantity into fourth quantity fourth quantity equal to second quantity into third quantity second quantity second quantity into third quantity third quantity okay so by this statement we will solve today's maths okay so let's go to our today's lesson number three and four we'll solve. So already whose one I have given the statement that is statement by the statement we will solve this one. So here given in three number fill in the gaps. Okay. So here eleven is to twenty five proportion gaps. That means this one is blank. We have to find that quantity. Okay. What will be the uh, quantity here? Okay. And each quantity we can uh, change the uh, proportional, right? So 11 is to 25 proportion, um, and this one is blank, that means gaps in 50. So we have to find this one. So by that statement, we will find this one. So now write given with one first, we will write this one given. Here given the first quantity, first quantity, here given 11. And second quantity, second quantity, here given 25. And third quantity we have to find out, and now we have to find the fourth quantity. So, uh, sorry, five, fourth quantity here given, third quantity we have to find. So, fourth quantity now, right? Fourth quantity uh, is equal to 50. Okay, so now tell me the statements which one I have written the last one. So, first quantity into, we you know, first quantity. First quantity into fourth quantity, okay, equal to second quantity, second 
second quantity into third quantity okay so now just put the value of the uh, first second first second and fourth then we we'll get the record quantity so first quantity here given 11 into fourth quantity here given 50 and second quantity here given 25 25 and we have to find out the third quantity so just for better uh, understanding uh, this quantity uh, this uh, expression we will write in left side uh, 25 into third quantity is equal to 11 into 50 or now we have to find this quantity so if you want to find this quantity so 25 you have to take in right side right so when you take in right side uh, there is a multiplication so it will be division so now write third quantity so third quantity will be 11 into 50 divide 25 so 25 to our 50 so 11 to our what will be 22 so now we got the third quantity already got third quantity quantity is equal to 22 so we can write here the 22 okay so 11 is to 25 proportion uh, this one will be 22 is to 50 okay this one is like this can you have you, have you understood this one so first quantity second quantity and fourth quantity are given by this statement just uh, you have to write and put the value of uh, first second and fourth uh, then simplify this one then you get the third quantity now we'll solve the another one so again we'll solve number three and c number here given the first quantity is 2.5 second quantity is 5.0 and third quantity is 7 and now we have to find the fourth quantity the same statement again we have to write so we know we know can you check the statement already which one you have uh, we have written so first quantity into can you tell yes fourth quantity fourth quantity is equal to second quantity quantity into third quantity right so now just put the value of this one okay first quantity here given 2.5 fourth quantity we have to find out so just write fourth quantity uh, is equal to second quantity here given 5.0 and third uh, third quantity here 7 just write this one so fourth quantity we have to find out so fourth quantity quantity is equal to 5.0 okay 5.0 or we can multiply this in 5 7 or 35 just like multiply okay and this 2.5 we have to check in that side so here is a multiplication so it will be division now write this one 2.5 so again we write fourth quantity will be so fourth quantity what should be now there is in denominator there is a decimal so if you want to remove this one so you have to multiply by 10 okay in both that is in numerator and denominator then uh, we can remove this decimal point so now multiply by uh, 35 into 10 2.5 into 10 okay so or fourth quantity is equal to 350 and this one will be 25 okay now what will you do just divide 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 this one 25 
and 3, 5, 0. So again, 25 with this one is 35. So this two digit, this two digit is greater than this one. So we can give this one times. So 25, 2 are 25. Just subtract this one, 5, 5 are 5 minus 5, it will be 0. 3 minus 2 will be 1, so it will be 1. So we know the 425 are 100, right? 425 are 100. Just subtract this one, it will be 0. So this one you can write is in 14. So we can write this one. So 2.5, that means 2.5, okay, 5.0 uh, proportion uh, 7 is to this one will be 14 okay have you understood this one same way we are uh, solving the same maths uh, your chain may be so i think the all type of maths is same so now we'll solve this uh, another maths uh, have you understood i hope you, you have understood this one uh, this is the last math of, uh, of number three so number e here even also the same uh, pattern this one we will take uh, first quantity this one second this one third this one uh, fourth. So again, you have to find the first quantity here. So now write this given. So first quantity you have to find out. So here given the second quantity. Now write the second quantity. Second quantity is equal to 12.5. And third quantity. Third quantity is equal to 5. Okay, second quantity 12.5, third quantity 5, and fourth quantity, fourth quantity equal to 25. So, you know, can you tell me the statement? So, which one already you have written? So, first quantity, uh, you are telling this one is easy, right? First quantity into fourth quantity quantity is equal to second quantity uh, and changing only the quantity 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 is third quantity right so now put the value of this one just uh, place the values uh, so first quantity have to find out so now write the first quantity First quantity and fourth quantity this one into 25 right uh, second quantity here 12.5 and and this one uh, second quantity third quantity this one into 5 right so now just first quantity we have to keep in left side uh, so quantity just 12.5 into 5 divide 25 this 25 which will give you because there is one equation right so just uh, right now again first quantity so quantity uh, we can cut this one right 5 5 or 5 just divide this one so how to divide this one just write here 5 uh, 12.5 here 12.5 so 5 to our 10 right so just uh, subtract this one it will be 2 and this decimal point you can take here then uh, this 5 have to bring down so it will be 25 so 5 5 are 25 okay this one is it so we can write here 2.5 because 12.5 here 55 5 by 25 divided by 5 of 12.5 so we got 2.5 so therefore we can write this uh, gaps it will be 2.5 is to 12 12.5 uh, 12 proportion proportion 5 is to 25 okay so today's three number maths uh, are same way like this okay this is the, by this system and we can solve this one uh, i hope uh, this one is uh, easy for you right only for one statement you can solve uh, all type of maths of number three so now we solve number four let's go to our phone number
Now we'll solve number 4. Determine the fourth proportional of the following quantities. Uh, you know the all quantities, that means the east quantities, we can tell the proportional, right? Proportional quantities, this one, east quantity is called proportional. So we have to find the here given the fourth proportional quantities, right? So here given the first, second and third. So uh, we have already solved number 3, okay? The same statement we can solve this one. But in full number here given, only you have to find the all all maths of full number, you have to find the four proportional quantities. So uh, that statement, okay, uh, we have to uh, use this one. So now right here given the first quantity, first quantity, first quantity is equal to five and second quantity, is equal to 7 and third quantity is equal to 10. So same way you have to solve. We know this one, right? We know uh, first quantity into first quantity into which one? Fourth quantity, right? The same, same, same way you have to solve this one. That means uh, like three number is equal to second quantity, second quantity into uh, third quantity. So now I uh, just put the value, place the value of first, second, and third quantity. So then we can get the fourth quantity here. So here now uh, put the value first quantity here five. And fourth quantity we have to find out. So just write here fourth quantity. Okay. And second quantity here seven and third quantity here given ten. So it's easy, right? Yes, yeah, students, it's easy, right? Because all, all type of mass of three number and four number just only for one statement, you can solve this problem. Uh, seven into ten divided by and you are saying, sir, you are doing so uh, easy maths. And I think the all uh, students of milestone, those who are reading, okay, they are giving this, they are getting the service. This, uh, this one, the teacher giving the service. So seven to our fourteen, right? Seven to our fourteen. So now fourth quantity is equal to. 14. Already we got this fourth quantity. So we can write here, here given the determine the fourth proportional quantity. So we can write just uh, so fourth proportional quantity is fourth proportional. Fourth proportional 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 is equal to 14. This one. So again we will solve the another mass of G number. Now we will solve the D number. Have you understood this one? The same way of, of number 3. Now we have to solve the D. Now we solve number 4, uh, G number. Uh, here given uh, first quantity is 8, second quantity 8 whole 1 by 2 and third quantity is 4. So now we have to find the fourth proportional of the quantities. So now uh, given first quantity, now write again first quantity, uh, first quantity is equal to 8 and second quantity second quantity is equal to 8 whole 1 by 2 or we can write this one 8 whole 16 and 1 17 by 2 we can write right so here third quantity here given third quantity is equal to 4 right so now again we have to write that one the statement uh, which one i have given the first at first so you know the first quantity into fourth quantity fourth quantity okay uh, for first quantity then we write the second quantity uh, into third quantity okay when you go to the upper class at that time you get just a b c like this so you have to so not write first quantity second quantity just a b into uh, suppose c square by b into b c like this 
So now write this one, first quantity which one? 8, just write 8 and you have to find the fourth quantity, so we have to write this one, fourth quantity. And second quantity here, second quantity which one? This one, 17 by 2 and third quantity which one? 4, just write 4. So or we can here, we can cut this one, 2 to our 4, right? So 17 into 2. So now write this fourth quantity. Fourth quantity is equal to 17 into 2. And this 8 we have to take in that side to the division. So write just 8. So 4 to our 8. So it will be fourth quantity. It will be quantity is equal to 17 by 4. So we can write the fourth proportional, right? So therefore, fourth proportional, proportional is equal to 17 by 4. This is the answer. Uh, dear students, uh, the all three number and four number only the by this statement you can solve this type of marks. Uh, can I uh, can I uh, show you the again this three and four number? I hope you will understand and uh, you have uh, you have understood this maths because only for this statement okay the first quantity into fourth quantity equal to second quantity into third quantity just this statement okay memorize and uh, after writing if you can write this statement just is very easy first quantity into fourth quantity is equal to second quantity into third quantity okay by uh, memorizing this statement you can solve uh, three number and four number and already you have uh, solved some type of math that means one and two that means how to find the mid quantity okay uh, i think i hope that means the all type uh, all type of math of three and four you can solve this problem okay now we'll give the system now write the system sw number is 32 now write sw 30 Two. Now we have to solve only, okay, this one solve uh, three number uh, B and E and four number, already we have solved number D of exercise 2.1 page number 27, okay, and this after solving this mess, I hope you can solve this problem and after solving you will uh, send you will send to your subject teacher okay i hope uh, okay stay stay fine thank you very much